You know, Andrew was just saying that, like, this is the first time that you've basically all been together in one room and yeah. at least a long time or, or maybe ever because they were shooting all at different times? Yeah, well, yeah. shooting like, schedules, like, yeah. Um, you know, she was doing Emergence and Ed obviously is doing Modern Family. Divine was doing, what was the show in? Doing High Fidelity. High Fidelity, yeah. So everybody was, Richard didn't have anything to do. He, no, was, he was there the whole <laughs> time. He was there a week before I got there, just on, hanging on out. On days when he wasn't like, hey, shooting, yeah. it was weird. I, I just left the set yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but no, it's good. It's like, a, it's like a nice family reunion. It's good to see you guys. Yeah. Well, you know, this is such an interesting film because it's a glimpse of a bit of life that you don't often see on screen, you know? And, and Richard, the character you play, you know, is... Uh, a fast food worker who's been doing this for 38 years, last day on the job now. What was it about the character that really spoke to you? Uh, it's the way it was written. I mean, he was the, the it just, he felt real alive, you know. Uh, I, I've not seen guys like that on the screen, and uh, I just, you know, it's the text, or the script, you read it and you go, this stuff is really good, so that's what did it for me. And I'm a Midwesterner, it takes place in Michigan, and, and uh, Actually, the character is a little younger than I am. I always like to play those kind. Of, <laughs> you know. for, for the rest of you guys, what was it about the script that really spoke to you? I mean, I think that this is like a, a, a region of the country that everyone is trying to tap into right now and really understand, especially, I mean, I, I'm, I'm from Texas, but I consider myself like a city girl now. And so I think um, telling stories about this part of the country um, about people who are sort of on the peripheral of things and who um, in a lot of cases are living below the poverty line is really, I mean, important and interesting. So that was something that made me want to participate. And, uh, you know, Divine, I mean, I'm thinking as well, like, you know, Dolmite, such a success. Uh, similar in a way because that was like a, that's an interesting story because that's about, you know, sort of a, a peripheral community in a way, uh, you know, this particular comedic group, you know, and, and, and the community that had formed that then suddenly becomes wildly popular and, you know, goes to the mainstream. This is, though, purely about a milieu that you just don't see at all. What was it ab about this that really spoke to you? Um, uh, you know, I think it just comes down to good storytelling, you know, and for me, uh, I've been saying, like, I'm never wanting to lean into, like, the typical or the stereotypical, if you will, and tropes, I don't, it's not my thing. So um, what was so unique it was the complexity that I felt as though I could dive into this woman um, and show something that on the surface you could very easily go in a very generic way. Um, and I just liked all the different layers and complexities of ageism and racism and, you know, gender and, just uh, of being in a creative space within a scene where it's just like you're juggling all these balls, but really it feels like you're juggling eggs, <laughs> you know, like in the sense of like the fragility of it all. Um, and that like walking that tightrope for me is really exciting that it's like, ugh, it's like, I don't know, it's really intense, but in a good way. Yeah. So I think as the actor, it really stretches you a lot because you can't phone in, you know, mm -hmm. generic. Stuff. <laughs> <laughs> no. He bet he makes a difference. <laughs> and you know, Ed, you're a comedy legend, but I think what's always so interesting about your characters is that, you know, you really find genuine emotion as well. You know, there's a lot of there's a lot of depth there, there's a lot of feeling beyond just eliciting laughs as well. You know, did you find that in this story as well? You know, how to balance, you know, the humorous moments with more the pathos? Well, I'm, I'm also from the Midwest. I grew up in the late 50s, 60s. And so I've often said, you know, I never see movies about people I grew up with. And this kind of had the, some of that for me. So I really, I really enjoyed that, that part of it. You know, Andrew, uh, you, since none of these guys were really ever in one room together, you know, everyone was all over the place. How did you keep the production focused? How did you make certain that everyone was on the same page and you were collaborating as effectively as you could? Uh, you know, I try to create an environment um, where people can just take ownership over their roles, over their work. Um, yeah, it was, it was an interesting process. I think when I spoke to all of them and we, all of them we talked 
extensively before the movie, and obviously they had the script, but we mostly talked about ourselves and our lives more than the characters, and I was more interested in who they are, and, and I didn't want to, um, you know, one thing I didn't want was them to feel like they had to accomplish something with this character. You know, I like the characters to really come organically and find the themes through them, so I was really open to, you know, their interpretation, because you, you have a great cast, you want, you want them to take ownership of their role and, and to expand it and to take it to a place you can't imagine. That's, you know, that's the goal. I like that, that you didn't want them to accomplish something with their character. So it's like you wanted them to be real people, not just like a symbol or, you know, be there for like a purpose or have a message or. Yeah, that starts with my documentary work, too. You know, I never thought of like, I'm trying to say this. I need a character who is trying to communicate this. It's more of like, here's an interesting character. What's the most honest thing that they would say in this moment? What's the most honest way to approach um, these themes? And that was kind of my guiding light.